You know, a hero or a protagonist isn't complete without a psychic. Hey everyone, welcome to the Top 10 Let's Welcome to my Top 10 Best or Favorite Movie Sidekicks. Yes, every movie, every hero, every protagonist needs a cool kick-ass sidekick, and yeah, I thought this was a cool idea. I always thought I did this Top 10 list, but apparently not. Uh, yeah, I really love sidekicks, uh, especially in comedic films or adventure films. I think sidekicks just add a lot of layers to the characters. They just add a, that ounce of fun to a movie. Sometimes they improve a movie way better. And yes, uh, I'll get to the worst sidekicks. Yes, those are the ones that ruins the movies, and they're just pointless. They, they, they never should have been in the movie, period. But these ones are awesome, and sometimes they even outshine the main character themselves. So yeah, let's get to it. Here's my top ten personal, personal favorite movie sidekicks. And as always, before top ten list, you gotta have your <clears throat> honorable mentions. My honorable mentions are Saul from Raiders of the Lost Ark, Hit Girl from Kick-Ass, Goose from Top Gun, Donkey from Shrek, Harry from Dumb and Dumber, um, Wilson, Wilson from Castaway, Gort from The Day of the Earth Stood Still, Sebastian from The Little Mermaid, and Sam Wilson, Falcon from the MCU films, mostly Captain America. All great sidekicks, just give me the top 10 list, but didn't make my top 10 was my number 10. My number 10 is Garth from Wayne's World, Party on Excellent, it's so good. Ah, uh, Garth. Garth is so great. <laughs> my, my, come out of my butt. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> so good. Uh, Garth played by Dana Carvey. Uh, actor that I'm not always the biggest fan of. Unless it's like SNL or Wayne's World. I love Dana Carvey, but other than that, he's not always that great. But he's a, he's hilarious in Wayne's World. And he works so beautifully off Mike Myers and stuff. Their, their chemistry and their camaraderie is just so great. He's just a lovable doofus. That he just got the great lines. He's he's one of the most quotable characters in all of the Wayne's World movies. Like, <laughs> sorry, can I be Frank? Sure, but can I still be Garth? <laughs> so good, but yeah, love Wayne's World, love Garth. Code number nine is Danny from Hot Fuzz. Yes, I love that Danny from Hot Fuzz. <laughs> you have a fudge old gun in the air going, ah! Have you seen Bad Boys 2? <laughs> Point Break? It's so good. Uh, Simon Pegg, Simon Pegg is, as Nicholas Angel, is a great character. Yeah. He's probably a better character, but I like Danny, Nick Frost, and he always works beautifully off of Simon Pegg. They're, like, one of the best comedic duos in all of cinema. They're just so freaking funny together. They work beautifully off each other, and Danny's a great character. He's just a lovable, uh, chubby dude that basically, he wants to be, like, an action cop. He, he loves action movies. He grew up with action movies, and he wants to be a police officer because he wants to see a lot of action, but... Since he's in a small town, he never gets to see it, but then when Nicholas Angel comes, they experience some pretty heavy stuff. And it's a really great character. It's a real, Hot Fuzz is my favorite comedy of all time, so of course I gotta have Danny on there, and yeah, it's Nick Frost. Code number eight is Silent Bob. Yes, Silent Bob from all the Jay and Silent Bob movies, or the Jersey movies, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, Kevin Smith. I love Kevin Smith. I love his podcasts. I love... Ugh. I just love a lot of his older movies, like Mallrats, Clerks, Clerks 2, Jane Silent Bob Strike Back, Chasing Amy, Dogma, and yeah, I love Jay. Jane Silent Bob are usually the show stealers because they're the funniest people, and Jason Mewes is so great as Jay, is this foul most this foul mouthed drug dealer, but his uh, sidekick, Silent Bob, is just awesome. He's basically very quiet uh, all throughout all the movies, and he only says like one or two lines of dialogue. And usually what he says is probably the most smartest things and the most logical things in all the movies and stuff. <laughs> no ticket. <laughs> so great. Uh, I just, I love Kevin Smith and I just, I love Silent Bob. Coming in number seven is Buzz Lightyear from the Toy Story trilogy. Yes. Buzz uh, started in the first Toy Story as Woody's enemy. Then they grew to, you know, respect each other and even, lo even love each other as friends. And then Toy Story 2, he's almost like sort of the leader because he has to leave the group to basically go rescue Woody and stuff because he's about to be put in a museum in Tokyo and stuff. And Toy Story 3, he almost becomes sort of a villain again, but then he becomes like a Spanish Buzz Lightyear and everything. Just, Buzz goes through a lot, but he's always Woody's sidekick. He's always Woody's best friend. He's always got Woody's back. And that's exactly what a sidekick is supposed to do. So yeah, to infinity and beyond. Coming in number six is Genie from Aladdin. This this is a character that actually steals Aladdin. Like it's he steals the whole freaking film because he's so goddamn great and so funny because it's it's Robin Williams. Yeah, I don't know what the hell they're doing with Will Smith. Love Will Smith and all, but my God, he looks terrible as the genie. But Robin Williams makes the genie. 
Aladdin's a great film with great animation, great music, and good characters. But Robin Williams makes that great film into a timeless film, makes it into an excellent film, makes it into the film that we all still love to this day, not only as a kid, but we love it still to this now because the genie is just so funny and just such a great classic character. So yeah, the genie is great and he outshines all the characters. Coming number five is Walter from Big Lebowski. Yes, <laughs> Smokey over the line. <laughs> uh, Walter is a very angry, very aggressive guy, played by John Goodman. He's the complete opposite of the main character, the dude, Jeff Lebowski, played by uh, Jeff Bridges, who's a very calm, subdued, chillaxed kind of guy. Walter is the opposite. He's absolutely crazy and insane and stuff, and all he does is talk about Vietnam and stuff and Chavez and stuff. Like, he's absolutely insane, and I just absolutely love him. I freaking love him. He's so freaking funny. He's so enjoyable. He like wants to join the dude on his like crusade to find this girl who they think kidnapped herself. It's, just, it's so funny. And John Goodman just works beautifully off of uh, J uh, Jeff Bridges' character, and it just, I love. The Big Lebowski, again, is also one of my favorite comedies, and just, I love Walter. <laughs> Coming to number four is Chewbacca. Uh, yeah, I can't even do that noise. I'm not even going to bother with that shit. Love Chewie. Chewie, is, he's my uh, uh, favorite sidekick ever. I, uh, one of my favorite sidekicks. Top four. <laughs> uh, he's a sidekick off Han Solo, who's my favorite hero in all of Star Wars, and... Chewie's just great. He loves to rip people's arms out of their sockets, which is also great. He's, he grew up on Kashyyyk, one of the coolest planets ever. If they fought on Kashyyyk at the end of The Return of the Jedi instead of Endor, that would have been a much better third act. But still, I digress. Uh, Chewie's a great character. He's got the cool crossbow. He's with everyone. He's always helping everyone. He's the one that helped save the princess in Star Wars, but he never, he never got a medal. Yes, Han got a medal, Luke got a medal, but Chewie didn't get a medal? That's some bullshit. That's some Wookiee racism right there. <laughs> and But he, he's always there. He's always there to protect his friends, protect the princess, and just even in the new Star Wars, he's in the First Order, he's helping everyone out, he's helping Rey out and stuff. Like, it's just Chewie. He's awesome. Code number three is a very underrated sidekick that's Lucius Fox from the Dark Knight trilogy, played by Morgan Freeman. So good. Uh, if it wasn't for uh, Lucius Fox, Bruce Wayne would not have the technology he has. He gives Bruce Wayne everything. Like, he gives him his suit. He gives him the tumbler. He gives him all his gear and everything. He even, out he's always, like, sometimes his navigator and stuff, uh, like in The Dark Knight, in the third act of The Dark Knight, when he has to go through the building, Lucius is his navigator through that building. Like, he helps Batman more than Alfred does. And I love Alfred. I love Michael Caine, but still... Lucius Fox is more of a sidekick, and since Batman doesn't have Robin in the Dark Knight trilogy, he's at Lucius Fox, and I was like, he's probably a better sidekick than Robin. Coming in number two is Doc Brown. Yes, 1.31 gigawatts. Uh, so good. Great Scott, Marty. Uh, Christopher Lloyd, fantastic. Works amazing. Again, off of Marty McFly. Michael J. Fox, basically, he's the one that created the DeLorean. Which, basically, Marty gets into, goes back to 1955, and then the 1955 Doc Brown has to get Marty McFly to go back to the future or the present, which is 1985. So good. And I love Dark Brown. He's just so smart, so wacky. He's just kind of like that typical science, scientist charm about him. And just, I love, I love his dog, Einstein. I, just, I love his entire personality. It's just, it's Dark Brown. And my number one favorite movie sidekick of all time is Spock. It's Spock. Well, Spock's one of my favorite TV characters. He's one of my favorite movie characters. I love Spock. Yes. Larry Nimoy. Uh, he, he outshines Kirk. A lot. Even in the new ones. I, and I love Chris Pine. Zach Grunto is just such a cool character. Because he's Spock. Spock's an interesting character. He's Vulcan. He's human. He doesn't belong to either humans or Vulcans because he's a half-breed. So he's almost like in his own little world and stuff. He's smart. He's intellectual. But he also has passion, feelings, and he has hurt. He has sadness in him. But he has to bury that because he wants to live like a Vulcan and stuff. It's just... Ugh. I love Spock. He, he looks cool. He kind of looks like an elf, but he's Vulcan. Vulcan. Cooler than elves. <laughs> and just, yeah, he's the science officer on the Enterprise. And yeah, he could have lived as a Vulcan, but he chose to join Starfleet and stuff. And, you know, help people discover new worlds, new species and stuff. And he's an absolute cool character. And a character that everyone can look up to. He's a character I looked up to as a kid. And still to this day, I look up to. Because, yeah, it's Spock. Rest in peace. Larry Nimoy. So yeah, that was my top 10 best or favorite movie sidekicks in my opinion. So in the comment section below, please tell me, do you agree with this top 10 list? If not, give me you guys top 10 
Favorite movie sidekicks, in your opinion? Comment below, let me know, and as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.